All right, so today we're doing a driving tour in Dormont. Love this neighborhood. I think you're gonna love it too. Lots of things to check out. Let's go for a ride. My goal with this video is to pack as much information as possible in a short amount of time. Not only will you get some great visual details about the homes, layout, and businesses as we drive through many of the streets in Dormont, but I will provide as much background information as I can about the history of the area, all of the awesome amenities, the local school options, and the appealing real estate market. Dormont has something to offer everyone. Young people looking to rent in a hip but affordable area, families raising kids in a safe environment, investors looking for a solid ROI, and even retirees that want a quiet neighborhood but close to big city attractions. Dormont is a great place to live, so let's get some more details. Dormont is only a few miles from downtown and easily accessible through the Liberty Tunnel or Fort Pitt Tunnel. Dormont has over 8,000 residents and as you can see, is fairly densely populated in less than one square mile. Dormont is nestled between Mount Lebanon to the south and Pittsburgh to the north. West Liberty Avenue runs through the center of Dormont and where the bulk of the businesses are located. Near the end, we'll also take a drive down Potomac Avenue, where another set of businesses are located. There are three light rail stations in Dormont, making this community one of the few places in Pittsburgh where owning a car, or at least two cars for a couple, is not essential. Loosely translated from the French, Dormont means Mountain of Gold. Dormont was incorporated as a borough in 1909 and became the first independent municipality in the South Hills. When the Liberty Tunnels, also known as the Liberty Tubes, were completed in the 1920s, along with the streetcar expansion, Dormont saw rapid growth. Before 1965, Dormont operated its own school system, but then partnered with Green Tree and Castle Shannon to form the Keystone Oaks School District. Oddly, none of these three municipalities share a border, but they each have their own elementary school, and the middle school and high school are centrally located but technically sit on land that is part of Mount Lebanon. I already mentioned the location and the access to the light rail system as two of the perks of living in Dormont. Other neighborhood attractions include the Dormont Pool, where we started our tour today. Built in 1920, the Dormont Pool is the largest outdoor pool in Western Pennsylvania. And at the end of every season, you can bring your dog for a swim. Just above Dormont Pool are the 23 and a half acres of Dormont Park, where you will find ball fields, picnic pavilions, tennis courts, trails, and much more. Another park operated by the Borough of Dormont is Bag Snyder Park off of McNeely Road. One of the benefits of living in Dormont are the numerous business and retail options which are within walking distance from most homes. There is the classic Dormont staple like the Doorstop, a great place for breakfast, Potomac Bakery, Breakers Pool Hall, and the Hollywood Theater. And now we are starting to see new businesses open up along West Liberty and Potomac, including Fire Bar and Grill, Arsenal Cider Tap House, Tal and Burt Housewares, and a new French restaurant, Jean-Louis. Whether it is new restaurants, brew pubs, retail stores, or a facelift to the business corridor on Potomac, Dormont is attracting new residents and new investments that have this neighborhood poised to be one of the fastest growing neighborhoods in the coming decade. Real estate prices, as I will detail at the end of this video, are on the rise, so don't wait too long. Now is a great time to consider living in Dormont. As I mentioned earlier, Dormont is served by the Keystone Oaks School District. KO for short, is a medium-sized district for our area and has about 2,000 students. Built in the late 1990s, Dormont Elementary serves students in grades K-5 to that live in Dormont, and it is the largest of the three elementary schools. Keystone Oaks might not be at the very top of the school district rankings, but they serve a much more economically and racially diverse population than many of those top ranking school districts. According to the Pittsburgh Business Times recent decade rankings from 2010 to 2020, Keystone Oaks ranks a respectable 34th out of over 100 school districts in the region. For access to the latest state data for Keystone Oaks, check out the link in the description. Keystone Oaks offers a number of noteworthy programs including dual enrollment college courses, a one-to-one -one Chromebook initiative, a comprehensive music program, a community service program, an amazing school counseling department, and numerous clubs and athletic teams. 
For those families looking for options outside of the public school system, St. Bernard's is just on the edge of Dormont and serves 300 students in grades K-8. to Seat LaSalle High School is on the other side of Dormont and serves about 400 students in grades 9 to 12. As hopefully you can see, Dormont is a combination of single-family homes, duplexes, and multifamily units. Check out the link in the description for a map of the residential zones in Dormont. There are over 4,000 housing units in Dormont, and according to niche.com, about 60% of residents in Dormont own their home, and the remaining 40% are renters. The median rent is $860 per month. In the last 12 months since I recorded this video, there were 142 properties sold through the West Penn Multilist. There were 15 duplexes that sold at a median price of $250,000. And for the 127 single-family homes that sold in the last 12 months, the median sales price was $215,000. Homes sold at 99% of their list price and stayed on the market for an average of 20 days. For a list of homes currently for sale in Dormont, check out the link in the first pinned comment. Dormont is appealing to a wide range of people, but if you are a first-time homebuyer or an investor, you can't go wrong with this neighborhood. Dormont is walkable, affordable, and offers tons of amenities. If you are considering a home purchase in Dormont, please give me a call and I'd be glad to help. Thanks for coming along our driving tour of Dormont. I've got lots of other driving tours. Check out this link right here. Have a great day.